Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. Many people in their spreadsheets need to find the intersection of a column and a row and they will use a combination of functions called index and match. Now these can be a little tricky to learn, to understand and I'd like to show you an alternative method to achieve the same result using a function called indirect. And it works like this. At the moment we're seeing that the student Alan in the physics subject has a mark of 78. The intersection of the column with Alan in it and the row with the physics result. I can also choose if I wish another student let's say Sue and I might like to see her English result. So I simply choose from the drop down lists and I'm given Sue's English result of 68. I'm going to show you the procedure in how to set up this particular uh, function by using another spreadsheet and to show you what you have to do using the name manager in the procedure worksheet. So here we have a carbon copy as it were of the goal worksheet but without the drop down lists and without the indirect function. First of all let's create the drop down list. So for the students I need to go into the data tab and in data validation I want to allow a list and Excel will say what is the source of the list and the source are the names of the students and when I click OK I now see that I have a drop down list there from which I can choose the names of the students. The same with the subjects. I want a drop down list of these subjects across here. I go into data validation in the data tab. I want to allow a list and the source of that list will be the subject across the top of the spreadsheet matrix. When I click OK there I can see that I can choose the subject and also the student from the drop down lists. Now what I want to do is to set up a function called indirect so that I can see their mark and I use the name manager in the formulas tab there is a section here called define names one of the commands is create from selection so what I need to do is to select all of the data in the spreadsheet matrix itself and then I say create from selection Excel says do you want to create names from the values in the top row yes and the left column yes and now I click OK. And now if I look at the name manager I see that all of the names and all of the information is in the name manager. Now we can click close. Now here's the key to using indirect. In this cell I want to see the mark. So I type an equal sign followed by indirect and an open bracket and I want to have Excel look at what is in that cell because indirect brings the information from one cell into a formula. Now I close the bracket and I press the space bar and I type indirect again. Open a bracket and this time I want it to bring the information in from the subject. So I close the bracket, control enter and now I can choose a student we'll say Bill and I want to see Bill's English mark and there it is 89 so by using the indirect function up here I can see that the intersection of the columns and rows is very easily achieved it's much easier, as I mentioned earlier, than using the index match combination. So remember, 
practice ma is, is, uh, makes perfect practice is the name of the game and learning new procedures in any Microsoft Office subject particularly Excel so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe we will see other uh, uploaded uh, videos as they take place you'll be automatically notified and once again thanks for watching bye for now